All right, everybody, it's finally time for the last episode from the Russian adventure we did last summer. I'm sorry you guys had to wait a little bit for it, but I assure you it's gonna be worth it. So this episode is from the very last night that we went fishing and we fished through the whole night and a whole bunch of different crazy stuff happened during this night. So what was so insane about this night is that it was the first night that we had absolutely zero wind so it was like fishing in a fairy tale and the fishing was also insanely good and the very first thing that happened this night is that I tried on the flat nose dragon and this is what happened. I'm gonna try the dragon and see if that one works over here or of course it will but I'm gonna see how good it works. Yeah. I totally agree with you, Anton. That was so good, said. Big one, 10 kilo, you catch? What does that mean? 10.2. Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ, everyone is catching big fish except me. But I'm used to this now. I hope we get some Russian tips on how to beat this weed line right here now. Oh, big fish, big fish, big fish, Anto, big fish! Whoa! Whoa! Right at the boat! Oh my god! Oh my god! No, I lost. No! Oh! <laughs> Right at the boat. Whoa, there are some bigger fish here. Ooh. Okay. Anton, are you ready? I'm always ready. This is like finally a decent one. Oh, yeah, dude. Finally a bigger fish in here. Oh, man, that one came right at the boat. Woo! Pike fishing is so fun. Oh, that's a, that's a decent fish, man. That's a really decent fish. Oh man, it's just like, you see how, should, how the pike over here do? If it was just an easy way of explaining to, the, to them that this won't help them. And here is the dragon tail. Ah, so I caught fish on two dragons. These clear colors are insanely good and that was kind of unexpected. Seven kilo fish right in here by all the small fish. I bet this one will eat the other ones for dinner. And it mistaked the flat nose dragon for dinner. Now we release this fish back to where she belongs so. You're good baby. Yeah dude, finally a bit bigger fish for me. I have been fighting a hard time for that fish. But the way she took it, Man, that's why we like travel across all the world, come to Siberia to fish, to fish for pike. You know, we're, we're so close of getting the 10 kilo every day, so now we're gonna give it our everything these last hours. So to give you an idea about how crazy these pike are, just take a look at this. Anton simply left the bait in the water when this happened. For real though, Anton. Oh! <laughs> that was a funny one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes you need just to put your lure in the water. Yep. The so the next one could have turned ugly, but luckily it didn't. Because you see, when you travel to this far, far place, you're not fishing from any North Silvers, let me tell you that. We got some really small, very unstable aluminium boats that we fished from the whole week. And the problem is, if you have both of the guys standing like this, it works good. And if one goes to the side, it works good. But if both accidentally goes to one side, the boat almost flips. And this one was very, very, very close. Yeah. I was just kidding. Of course they wanted the Siberia Slayer. Ding, ding, boom, baby. That was a, no! But I helped Anton. you. Anton. Otherwise you won't Jesus Christ, man. Anton, 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 Anton. We, you're gonna get us you're gonna get us killed. You're gonna get me killed because I don't have an earth suit. Gonna twist it in the pike. 
There we go. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. You're just about done at the dentist. Sorry for interrupting your evening, girl. And that is how to catch a fish on Mummy Shark. This has so quickly became my absolute favorite lure. Okay, guys, this is literally one cast after that small one. And I don't think it's gonna be a 10, but it's a damn, it's a damn nice fish. Look at that apple. Ooh. Whoa, that's a good one. I just hear your brakes. Damn nice fish, dude. Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Smacky backen. What a night actually. What a night. It's like 2 in the morning. Because we decided that we're gonna be out here all day, all night. And this was literally the cast after. I just went up there, took a cast towards the house, and bada bing. This is the fifth fish over 7 kilo today. This was 7.8 kilo. We weighed it pretty quickly. That was pretty fun just when I spoke about how much the shark chat has become my favorite lure and this proves it once again. This is the classic stuff they do in Siberia. But man, we are close to one really really big fish now. The fish are like, they are so wide and they are so compact. You literally can't believe it. I guess this fish is around 105. And now it's time for her to go back. This is like the first time I'm physically getting tired of pike fishing. It's like so many hook sets, so many, so many tough fights. Oh, and this was one of them. So that's about it from this crazy, crazy, crazy adventure. If you like this series, I would love if you could give it a thumbs up because then we know if you like this kind of content. If you are interested in going to this place, it is so, so far north that you need some Russian guides to help you. But luckily, my fishing buddy, Anton Fisherman, will organize guided trips to this magical, magical place pike fishing paradise probably in the summer of 2021 just drop him a dm on instagram and you can ask him a little bit more about the details because i will tell you one thing that i'm for sure going back to this place even though the the accommodation was not the best and the food was very not the best but it still gave me lifelong memories i mean all those crazy stuff that happened during this trip it was so insane. So all in all uh, we were 10 guys going to that crazy crazy place and in total we caught 24 pike over 10 kilo and before I finish I just want to say a big thank you to all the guys who were with us we had a, such a such a great time and we created all lifelong memories so thank you guys so much now I want you to enjoy my favorite sequence from this series <laughs> 